I'm Ruben Fawkes, this is Maya Fawkes. We work together as translocal, uh, as curators and as art historians. Uh, we're mostly based in Budapest, but we also work a lot throughout Central Europe and also a lot with uh, Britain. The title of the exhibition, Loophole to Happiness, comes from the book by a Hungarian writer, uh, Miklos Haresti. He wrote a book uh, uh, called Work in a Worker State in the early 1970s when he spent some months in the Red Star tractor factory and uh, he observed the way workers live and work um, in a socialist factory and in his last chapter of the book he describes moments when uh, people use factory machines and factory materials and do something uh, for themselves something they're really distilling time, they're losing money for doing it, they do something illegal, but in this action they forge friendships and they uh, enjoy it and that's the moment of happiness and as the writer describes it, these are the loopholes to happiness. Loophole to Happiness uh, is an exhibition which on the one hand aims to look at a kind of uh, rediscovery of the experience of socialism in Eastern Europe, in the, particularly in the 1970s and uh, looks particularly at everyday methods and approaches to resist the system that people found, especially workers found. Uh, and that's on the one hand. On the other hand, it looks more at uh, contemporary approaches to resisting the current system that we all live in and uh, kind of contemporary struggles and often drawing on the knowledge and experience of, uh, of uh, the experience of Eastern Europe in the 70s. So uh, the work which is behind us is a collaborative work initiated by Croatian artist uh, Sinisha Labrovic and uh, his idea he usually intervenes into mass media and this time he uh, in, uh, in, in, in what did he do? Okay. He made a situation, if you want, where he invited people from different countries of Eastern Europe, various social groups, uh, uh, from children to uh, uh, older people, to workers, so various social groups to uh, explain. He asked them, what is happiness for you? But he also instructed them to answer this question by intervening on the uh, newspaper covers. And in that way, he points out that there is no such a thing as the plain happiness without the reality which is behind it and the reality in which we live and this political situation which we are, economic situation and so on. And through these interventions we came through various ideas of what is, we can look and see what is the happiness. So the project took place in, uh, in Woj as well. In, uh, it also connects the places where the exhibition is traveling. So it's, uh, there are works from Budapest, from Zagreb, uh, Prague as well, there was a workshop, so it connects the places and the people and they respond to the same idea. And the other work is a comment on present day situation and present day economy and uh, it's quite interesting uh, from the point of view that it's in kind of inversion of stealing. Instead of stealing something, he buys it again and again and again, five times. He takes the same can of coke into the shop and buys it again and again. And in that way, it's, abs it's quite funny and absurd, but it's also the idea of uh, finding loopholes within the existing system. Anyway, it's showing that no, no system is perfect or closed. So, you know, on the one hand, you can say that the socialist system, there are a lot of loopholes and things, which ways of getting around it. But even today's uh, capitalist system of monetary exchange, you can also find kind of holes and, and, uh, and exits to the system. Yeah. Yeah.